Today we're going to be looking at an integration between Microsoft Project Server and Atlassian Jira. More specifically, we're going to be looking at a use case that will be connecting our project managers with our development organization. And we'll see various tasks um, in, on our PPM side being flown over to Jira as high-level epics to be worked on. And then further, these epics will be broken down into lower-level stories on the Jira side that will then be transferred back into Project Server for granular information of what work is being done, as well as some status updates and, and such. Now, as far as these layers and the levels that we're talking about, these are not, you're not tied to these levels. You could be using um, different levels of tasks on PPM side, and you could be using stories and subtasks or tasks and subtasks. Again, from an issue type perspective, we don't care what you're using on either side. Now, as far as the updates and ongoing attribute changes, we'll also see some um, attributes flowing back and forth. We'll see some system and custom fields being integrated, and we'll look at some scheduling opportunities, status updates, and we'll also see assignments being flown back and forth. So let's get to it. So here on my MSPS side, I have a project outline and I have a couple, um, a list of epics and user stories that are being, going to be finished as part of this project. Now, as I mentioned, it does not matter to us which layers you're using. You could be using outline levels 2 and 3, 5 and 6, or 8 and 9. Um, it is up to you to decide what level layers go over to Jira. Now as an example we're gonna create a demo epic and we'll create it at a root level so it creates an epic level and then I'll create a demo story here just to be able to show how the creation of these things can happen uh, bidirectionally. And we'll make both of these out of schedule just so all the dates are being um, calculated. But at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and publish my project plan and check in my project so that we can look at these changes on the Jira side. And the idea is that you could be breaking down these epics into lower level stories on MSPS side. However, um, if you want, you can flow these higher level items from MSPS over to JIRA and then have the breakdown happen in JIRA and we'll look at it from both sides. So if I go over to JIRA and go in my backlog view, and I'll see that my demo has been created here on the left um, along with my demo story, as well as the hierarchy between the two has been maintained for um, keeping the context between the parent and child. Now, similar to what we just did from MSPS side, we could be creating stories in here. So I'm just going to call it Jira story. And this just proves that you can do the breakdown and do the hierarchy synchronization from really either of the sides. So if I jump back over to my project server and refresh my uh, project view here, I can see that the other Jira story now has been um, created over in MSPS as well. We'll do a couple of things here before we move on. Is um, We want to do a couple estimations and add some notes on our demo story here. So what I'll do is I'll just edit the story and I'll say a couple things that will change is first I'll assign it to myself and I'll say that actually the estimate duration for this is 10 days. So once I submit all that and move back over to my project server and refresh, we can see that a couple of things here have come over. First, <clears throat> you can see that the duration has flown over. Uh, resource name as an assignee has come over and also um, my schedule has been adjusted. So this schedule will be mostly maintained on my MSPS side but this schedule is also communicated over to my development side. So if I jump over to my Jira instance and refresh my demo story 
we can see that the start and finish dates are matching up to my MSPS, um, which means that you can just keep your developers up to date as to when, based on their duration, this finish date is supposed to be. Uh, now, the last piece that we're just going to do is we're going to say, okay, as a as um, we're going to go ahead and start work on this particular story. Um, first, we're going to assign it to a release just to show how different artifacts, different um, different attributes can flow back and forth between the two systems. And then we'll click on to our actual story here and we'll move it into in progress just to be able to say that we're actually um, working on this particular um, user story. So now we're going to jump back over to MSVS and see a bunch of different things that have flown over to this side. So first uh, we can see that our development status has been updated so that will keep in sync from both sides uh, regardless and then uh, we can also now now know which release particularly this particular story will be released in and also one of the things that I didn't mention before is this notion of a backlink and this is really just a URL link that points us to the exact um, to the exact item in my JIRA project so that if your project managers really have to jump into JIRA and look at more information they know what which JIRA item it is and they don't have to go looking for it. That was a short integration demo between MS Project Server and Atlassian JIRA. For more information please visit tastop.com.